go guys. Welcome back everyone. The kids and I, or at least three of them, are here at the houseboat. Right gang? Yeah. And we are going to start bagging up all the trash and stuff like that. So that's kind of step, step one is to get all the stuff bagged up. Um, and then um, we can start pulling stuff out. So that's what we're up to today. All right, we're plugging along. We got our captain here, keeping us on course. Um, and this is but uh, up. we've made a little box of things the, that might and be. The, and this is up. Oh, the anchor's up. Perfect. So we made a little box of things that might keep. We need to finish up the kitchen, but the kids got the whole back area done. So we do have these uh, fold-out couches. I'll need Donovan to help us with. So, and the plan is, is all cabinets, all sidewalls, everything will come. Out. Those are kind of handy. This one had a, it's a paper towel dispenser. That one has foil up in it. Cool. So you could pull it out and cut it. It looks like you can fit saran wrap up there. That's kind of handy. Might save those and put them in somewhere. Um, anyway, so that's kind of where we are. So plug in along. We got this all cleaned up. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So we'll hopefully finish. We'll finish. Uh, getting these last few things out of these upper cabinets and then we'll be kind of done with the first round of clean out holy <laughs> cow guys <laughs> we are saving hardware we figured we might as well the hinges and the handles handles that work well but i'm sure katie has already told you guys we're gutting the uh, boathouse today because it is crummy weather outside i've been at work it's not good for outdoor well, it's, it's beautiful right now, but it's muddy. Um, I love the Scottish weather. Um, have you told them what our plan is? Um, maybe. Um, maybe, she says. So I'll run through it in like 30 seconds in case I'm... I'll stop screwing. I'll stop screwing around for a minute? Yeah, after this last one. So the plan is to strip this houseboat. It was abandoned for 15 years um, before we took it over. Um, there is a bathroom in it we're, that's going bye-bye. We're, get, we're getting rid of it entirely. It is just Bunks. phenomenal, you know. So anybody who loves taking it showers. Sign, it does, yeah, the captain's quarters, yeah. which is on Same the bathroom. Um, bathroom door. Yeah. That's weird. So uh, it does have a fridge, which might or might not work. So we may actually pull that out. It might be a 12 volt. Some of those old um, boat fridges, marine fridges, um, will run on propane too. So I don't know if it works, we might keep it. Not in here though. We're going to knock out this whole wall, widen this space out to the full width. And, um, this is basically just going to be a, a living quarters for us, um, while we're working on the rest of the property. So as of right now, we're staying at my dad's place. Uh, thank you, Mimi and grandpa. But, um, you know, it, it'll be really nice to be on site because then we can leave stuff set up overnight. You know, if we're like halfway through a job, we can kind of leave things staged. Right now we clean everything up, take everything home tool wise. Um, you know, it'll just be, it'll, it'll be really nice. Plus it's just nice being on your own place. Right. You know, we're, we're, we're very grateful and comfortable and happy where we are. But it'll just be so much nicer when we're over here. So it'll plus, be easier to get stuff done. Too. Plus, and the kids are just super excited to be living on a boathouse. Yep. 
How much fun is that? And it'll be set down in the trees, and then we can get all of our animals over here. Yep, exactly. So, anyways, that's the update. We're going to keep um, tearing out stuff. I've already torn out the first cabin, or first cabinet. I need to get out the rest of them. Katie's working on pulling doors and hardware off to uh, just make it a little easier for us. We're going to strip this thing down to the bones. Holy cow, we got one whole section done, including the roof. It's crazy. It's just these quarter inch thick plywood. Get rid of that door, baby. Um, yeah, so as far as insulation, this will actually be awesome to get all of this apart. Plus, we can see where water has come in here. And you can hear how echoey it is. You know, we're inside a, a metal box, a tin can. <laughs> Ah, steel can. <clears throat> steel can. It's not really tin. So, oh, I'm excited. We're going to keep going. Go go gadget screwdriver. Go go gadget bit extenderizer. Hey, it's working now. Okay. Got half of your craft cabinet. This thing's actually pretty cool. I've never seen one of these. I haven't either with all the things in it. Uh, the brand on this, honey, hold on, is uh, Marsh. Hey, okay. stop screwing. Stop screwing for a second. I'm talking to the camera too. Um, March Hand Conceal All Accessories for a bath and kitchen from New York. City. Wow. It's got a, a wax paper cutter. It's got an aluminum foil tray with a cutter. Ooh. And a paper towel. And a paper towel holder. Ooh. We don't really use any of those, but it is cool. It's a we might start. Might not start using any of that. Boy, you can uh, smell that lovely aroma. Coming up from the deck below. Yeah. Okay. Quite a difference. Come on. Nope. There's a lovely little, little box there. Check this out. Hey. Use this box for one of the screws. Holy cow, look at the date on it. 06 of 70. 70? Well, some of the clothes in the wardrobe thing were very, um, were of that Let's similar see. area. Era. Let's see if you guys can see this. I mean, the cool things you find when you're remodeling. See? It's accessory cabinet. It's all stainless steel. Union made. Regulation of U.S. patent official. There's a patent number if anyone wants to geek out on that. Cool. Finding treasures.
the bone crawling. Where? On my shoulder. Whack it. Hi, Earth. Bugs. <laughs> I see nothing. <laughs> Hi! Bugs. Bugs everywhere. <laughs> Actually, there weren't that many bugs. We saw a few spiders. Uh, okay, so we are done for the day. High five. So, uh, episode one of the Boathouse Project is coming to an end. Yep. Um, what all did we get done? Well, this was all filled with cabinets. So all the cabinets are down. Yeah, a lot. Walls. The bathroom is out. Bathroom's on Half. except for toilet paper. Yeah, we have the shower stall still. Yep. We got the kitchen out. Yep. Um, kitchen yeah. is out. So we measured the deck. Um, and we are what? We're 25 feet total. Yeah. Nice. Interior. Yep. Nine foot wide. Yep. The top deck where we're thinking about making into the master bedroom right now is seven feet. Right. But we have another foot ish foot yeah. that we can add on to it. So we will probably do that. We'll bring it out a foot so we have at least eight feet up there so move we can the fit, stairs. fit a bed. Probably. We'll probably move the stairs over there. This section right here where the bathroom used to be will be our living area kitchen. and then we're talking about doing uh like double bunks back here for the kids and maybe doing like a, a, a half wall and then a barn door like two barn doors that slide together so their bedroom will be able to close but then you can push the doors open and leave it latched open and right everyone can just run yeah. through here like crazy animals so yeah. we and still I have a lot of work to do um we got to get the rest of the paneling mm -hmm. off we're going to, I think, dismantle the entire drive area up there. Um, we'll keep like the the wheel and some of the well, knobs and levers. You had a good idea. She thought maybe adding that to the treehouse would be kind of cool for the ah, kids. Ah, that would be cool. So we might they do were, that. They were enjoying driving it. Today. And then tomorrow I'll bring my power tools with me and uh, we'll take out the shower unit because it's all a one piece. And then we will also get this fridge out of here and then after that all we got to do is tear up the carpet and this thing is stripped bare after uh, all of that is done we need to go through and scrub the exterior with wire brushes probably get all the rusty old paint off reseal all the windows doors and joints and then we're ready to paint this bad boy yes so we're thinking about leaving it <clears throat> just steel um, we'll do like a, a UV uh, reflective paint on the exterior, but I mean the insulation they had on this boat was only one quarter inch thick. I mean, really, it was nothing. So we're we're parking this thing back in the trees. It should stay pretty cool in the summertime with the windows open. So I mean, off grid technology. So let us know. What do you think we should do? Should we put paneling back up, or should we leave it industrial like this? Kind of like it industrial. Kind of like it industrial too. Clean it, paint it. I think it'd be cool to do like <laughs> rhino lining. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, then. That's then, just like sandpaper if you touch it. It's great for a lot out, of things. Yeah, the truck bed coating. Yeah. We can just pressure wash this whole thing. So, all right, guys. We love you. May Yahuwah bless you. We are going to go run shower. through the rain. Yeah. And then go home and shower. Yes. <laughs> so. We'll see you on the next one.